Okay, so we're working on two more problems, number 31 and number 32. And we're looking for sides of a uh, triangle using the three trig functions, so, ka, to, right? So if I look here, here's my triangle. Um, the first thing I did was I labeled it. Here's my hypotenuse. Here's my designated angle. So this is my opposite side. And this left over here is my adjacent side. So the question becomes, what do you want to find first? Do you want to find the opposite side or do you want to find the adjacent side? Because they gave us the uh, hypotenuse there, okay? They gave us the hypotenuse. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to look for the opposite side first. And since I'm looking for the opposite side, I'm just going to just block out this adjacent side here. And now i got to ask myself, okay, well, they gave me the H and I'm looking for the O. Out of the three trig functions in so ka, toa, which one has the H and which one has the O? And I hope you can see here that it's the sine function, right? So the sine of 65 degrees is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 65 degrees is going to be the opposite T over the hypotenuse of 8. Okay? And if you look here, there I have the sine of 65 degrees is equal to T over 8. Because I have the H and I'm looking for the opposite side, which is T. So it's opposite over hypotenuse. T over 8. T over 8, T over 8. So sine of 65 is equal to T over 8. So I plug this into my calculator, and that gives me uh, 0 0.9063 is equal to T over 8. Um, of course, I want to get rid of this uh, denominator here, so I'm going to cross multiply across the equal sign. When I do that, I'm going to get 0 0.9063 times 8, and look at that, I got the T by itself now. When I multiply those, I get 7.25T, and that just rounds up to uh, 7.3. So again, I looked at what they gave me. I decided to see what I wanted to look for. I wanted to find the opposite side, so that's H and O, or O and H, and that's the sine function. Well, now that I found the opposite side, right, well, they already gave me the hypotenuse, so now I can look for the what? I can look for the adjacent. So they gave me the H, and now I can look for the adjacent. If I'm looking for the adjacent side, well, what do they give me? They gave me the H, and I'm looking for this here, which is the what? The A. So out of the three trick functions, which one has H and A? Out of Sokotoa, which one has H and A? Well, I hope you can see very quickly that the H and A are in the cosine function. So essentially, the cosine of 65 degrees is going to be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is U, and the hypotenuse is 8, 8, 8. So it's going to be cosine is equal to U over 8. So here we go. There's the cosine of 65 degrees is equal to u over 8. Let me just minimize a little bit here, okay? So I'm looking for the u, which is the adjacent side. They gave me the 8. So the cosine of 65 degrees is equal to u over 8. I plug that into my calculator. That gives me 0.4226 is equal to u over 8. I want to get rid of the denominator, so I'm going to multiply across the equal sign. It's going to give me u. When I do that, I get... 3.38 is equal to u, and I can just round that up to 3.4. So u comes out to be 3.4. And I'm just going to just leave this this way here. So if you want, you can freeze the screen, you can pause the screen, and you can see the three trig functions, uh, excuse me, the two trig functions that I use to find side u and side t. Let's take a look at number 32. Number 32, it's a very similar situation here. I, they gave me my right triangle. I labeled, this is my hypotenuse. Here's 70 degrees, so that's the opposite side, and this is the adjacent side. The question becomes, what do you want to find first? Do you want to find the opposite side first, or do you want to find the adjacent side first? I just opted to find the, uh, the opposite side first. So obviously, if they gave, excuse me, um, I'm sorry, they gave me the opposite side first, and the question becomes, do I want to find the hypotenuse or the adjacent side? and I'm going to choose to look for the hypotenuse. So I'm going to block this out here, because they gave me the opposite, and I'm looking for the hypotenuse. So again, they gave me letter O, and now I'm looking for letter H. Out of the three trig functions, which one has O and H? Well, I hope you realize that that should be the sine function. I'm sorry, should I should have had that there. So out of O and H, it's going to be the sine function. So the sine of 70 degrees is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Opposite hypotenuse, 9 over V. So that's going to be the sine of 70 degrees is 9 over V. I put this in my calculator. I get a decimal is equal to 9 over V. I multiply across the equal sign. 
I get these two together, and that's equal to V. I want to solve for V, so I just divide both sides by the decimal, and V comes out to be 9.57 or 9.6. So that is the value of V. Now that I found uh, the hypotenuse, now I can focus my attention on finding the adjacent side, right? Because if you notice here, they gave me the opposite, and now I want to find the adjacent side, which happens to be a side W here. So I have O and I have A. Well, out of the three trick functions in SOHCAHTOA, which one has an O and which one has an A? Well, it's going to be the tan function, the tangent function. So the tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. Opposite over the adjacent, O, 9 over W, 9 over W. So the tangent of 70 degrees is 9 over W. Right? Put that in the calculator, that gives me 2.7475. I want to get rid of the denominator, so I'm going to multiply across the equal sign. By doing that, I get the 9 by itself there. Right? Now I want to solve for W, so I divide both sides by 2.7475. And when I do that, the, these cancel out, and W is equal to 3.28. 3.28. And again, these are just some more examples of how to find sides using trig. Again, guys, it depends on two things. It depends on what they give you and what you want to look for. Here, they gave me the opposite side of 9, and I, just chose, I chose to find the hypotenuse. So that's O and H. That means I'm going to use the sine function. Instead, though, if I decided to find the adjacent side, well, they gave me O, and they gave me A. So, excuse me, they gave me O, and I'm looking for A. 